Yes, you know, please do come. Yes. Take a seat, please. Man, a seat. Man, I mean, something I really find uh, as a very interesting. You joined NSS, na? Yes. NSS in the school and college, college in particular. Uh, can you know? Can you tell you tell me when NSS first came into this thing? When it was implemented that scheme? NSS. We well, were not all year there. It was in a particular year started. Can you can, can you identify it? Yes, ma'am. I can recall, but uh, tell me the, which is the year. Year particular year I can recall, but it was. Ah, come on, tell me the recall. Go, go. That who year? That NSS was implemented. NSS was this thing introduced. Where? NSS, National Service Service Scheme. So this I cannot recall the year. It was introduced in 1969. Why 1969 is famous? Or did it commemorate? 1969. It marks. Yes, it has a link with history. Which part of history it is linked? When Gandhi was born? Second of when? Second of the means what? Year. 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 Huh? Please check, check, check. Okay. 1869, mm. 2nd October. Right? Yes. So it marks the sentinel celebration of Gandhi. Yes, okay. Uh, you have PSR option? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. So love this subject. And your uh, interior decoration of house. This is your hobby. Yes. Sir. What do you love to do in interior decoration? By adding photo frame or flower dresses. Are you comfortable with Hindi also? Sorry, sir, I am in English. Either English or either Udiya. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Then I can raise a question in English. Uh, are you from agriculture background? Yes, sir. Okay. Have you ever done cropping, etc.? In uh, college, uh, our practical experience uh, in the last year, I have been exposed to various cultivation, and, uh, mm -hmm. mushroom farming, and uh, uh, process cultivation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give any two difference between Kharif and Rabi crop? Kharif crop was mainly shown in the uh, rainy season and uh, Rabi crop was shown in the winter season. Kharif crop was harvested in winter and uh, Rabi crop was harvested in spring season. Mm -hmm. Example of Kharif crop are uh, rice and maize. Mm -hmm. Example of Rabi crop uh, Right, and uh, oil trade and oil mm -hmm. trade. And uh, your optional is PSIR. Yes. So you love this subject basically. Yes. Uh, recently the Citizenship Amendment Act was there, 2019. Yes, sir. Uh, from which countries the people are allowed to enter into India as a minority and get the citizenship according to the provision of 2019 Citizenship Amendment Act? Name that countries from where the peoples are invited. Name that six communities which are invited for citizenship, which are minorities there. Except Muslim community. What are the those six? Hindu, Christians, Buddhist, Jain, Sikh. Uh, okay. What does Article 14 represent? Equality between the Muslims and Christians. Equality between the Muslims and Christians. And then Article 15? That's <coughs> okay. You have right to life and personal liberty? Under which article? Article 21. Okay. Okay. Please, please. okay. Tell us something important uh, features of Indian constitution which you like, which you value. That is very important for as a citizen, for political student. We mostly value the, that is the separation of various pillars of government like the judiciary and uh, legislature. So, what are the philosophy of Indian constitution? Some uh, Ambedkar had said. Only uh, Indian constitution has three philosophies. He said. What is that? Executive, legislative, and judicial. 
No, philosophy, preamble type. What is the ideal of Indian constitution? Promote equality and yeah. uh, uh, without the absence of discrimination. Okay, one equality. Then he said even a trinity. Fraternity. Okay, do. And that is the among the citizens and people. Then? Uh, liberty. liberty. Liberty, equality, and fraternity. Mm -hmm. Why uh, do you think that the Indian constitution defined nation, nationalism? Did you do you think that the Indian constitution has defined nation and nationalism? Yes, sir. It defined one as far as India. India, that is? India, that is a union of. Bharat is a union of states. It doesn't define nation and nationalism. No, nation and nationalism is not defined. Okay, anyway, so tell me what are the founders, founding ideas of India's foreign policy and why? It is relevant, do you think, today's world? Yes, uh, foreign policy mainly founded on principles of non-alignment. That is uh, not to treated either uh, uh, USA or USSR uh, group. That is independent foreign policy. Another major uh, uh, important is the basic bilateral uh, relation among the Number of countries. And, uh, India tries to project himself to develop the Indian national country. Very good. So, how it was relevant for during Ukraine crisis? The war. And during this policy, due to independent foreign policy, India tried to manage the USA pressure of uh, not supporting. USA and uh, at that time India was able to buy crude uh, oil from Russia and the diplomatic pressure. Okay, all the good luck. Yes. Yes. Thank you.